All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay Farmington ceiling fan. I got this from Jonathan Finn in October of 2015. Um, it arrived right on my birthday, and um, so what happened was the reason why I didn't record this back then was because the pole chain on this fan broke, and um, when I tested it, so that delayed the part me recording it. So I got a pole chain for it in November. Um, I just didn't put it in, and then um, when I put the um, pole chain in the fan in January, February, um, I couldn't. I put it in, but I could not find the um, quick connect parts for the blade arms. Um, I'll show them later. I'm just trying to speed this up, and so um, yeah, I um. But what happened was when I got the outdoor hunter fan five minute one for that I'm selling to Richard J Moss. Um, pole chain on that fan broke when I tested it just to see if it worked, since I would hear often from employees that. Home Depot and stuff like that. Um, that the display models are only for display. They actually don't work, and um, that they don't actually operate. So I might actually want to see if that was true or not. Turns out it was not true. But they actually do work. But in the process, the pole chain from that fan broke, so I had to borrow, use the one that I got for this, and put it on that, paint that one black to match the Hunter Outdoor fan better, the um the pole chain that is. And today I just got a replacement for this one. So um yeah, and here it is all put together. And, um, yeah, it's, and this fan is actually an older farming because it's like right when it came out. Jonathan Finn told me that he got this like right in 2008. So, um, yeah, it's an older one, so it's probably better than what they, the ones that they're selling now. And, um, yeah, it's actually a pretty good fan, like air movement wise, it's actually pretty good on high. Low and medium are about the same. For some reason, these fans don't have a fast medium speed, like they're pretty slow. I might just stop this video, like when I, the other one's up, uploading right now. Well, no, I might actually just want, check out some other videos on the farming channel. I actually know that they don't really go too much faster on medium speed. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's a good fan regardless. I mean, for 50 bucks, high speed definitely does, will do the job. The other speeds, I mean, well, people, I mean, if you just want a little breeze, well, medium are okay, but, um, if you just want, like, to move some man in the room. Meat high is pretty good, so um, yeah. Oh, these fans I really do like a lot for the simplicity that they have. Um, not so many newer fans really have a simple look to them nowadays. They just have like a very modern look that I just, I just don't like at all. So um, well not at all, but like I'm just not too fond of. So um, yeah. Now this fan um, just for those I just thought I mentioned this now. The fan's basically the same design as the um him to be carousel without. Well, the blades and blade arms are the only exception, really, that aren't, aren't really the same design, but, um, switch housing, switch tap, motor housing, the vents, and the, um, bottom, the vents on the top of the motor housing are the exact same thing as the, um, Hampton Bay Carousel, so it's kind of like with the, um, Hampton Bay Carousel 2, it's basically the same thing as the Hampton Bay San Marino, but it's just white and 42 inches as opposed to 32 or 36 inch. I think it's 32 the San Marino, but um, yeah, it's basically the same thing with this, but they, just like the motor design, they copied it, basically, or they used the same exact motor design, and I actually find that pretty interesting, and um, yeah, I am showing the Bleach Oaks sign on this fan, I actually like this fan a lot better with the Bleach Oaks blades, um, that's just me, um, I just like it, fans more of like, not the same exact finish on the whole entire fan, so like, hundred, like the brass fans are like brass with oak, with this I like it white with some type of finish, not just plain white on the whole entire fan. But yeah, that's the quick connect, connect thingy. And um, what you do with these is um, so I put these like um the big screws that these hold the blades. You just put the blades on the holes so, like they're like the same size as this, right here. So I just put those in and then put this black thing on it and then just pull it this way, lock them in place. So instead of pulling the um blades in place like on other quick connect fans like the Harvey's Breeze Crosswinds and the Hampton Bay Quick Connect. This black thing that walks them in place for you instead. So instead of that little black thing that walks that like will hold the blade that does it instead and I actually prefer this method a lot better since those little black things um tend to ruin the blades from what I notice. If you like switch them often. And um yeah. I feel like this holds it better in place too. Um they're not that loose. The um crosswinds away sometimes they're a little bit loose and stuff like that so um this does secure the blades a lot better and the only thing i just don't like if you lose it you, you, you have to like find a piece that's the only downside about it. it's not like attached to the blade arm like the um 
to get a quick night blades or like your blade arms are so um yeah but um yeah it's a pretty decent thing i mean it, i can't really say anything bad about it except the um blade arms are a bit flimsy but like the performance wise there's actually nothing to complain about just to construct like the water housing is actually pretty solid for a hampton bay fan the uh, motor housing is actually a bit loose um that's i'm i need to tighten that better i, um, I think it's I haven't tightened it too well. I only tightened it decently, like when I first test put it together back in like October, and um, it might have not loosened, might have loosened up a bit since then. So um, yeah. So let me go ahead and start the fan off on low. Oh, there's the um, Hampton Bay logo right there. I like that they have like a cream, like a tannish look, like a piece, some like a, like a colonial white look to it instead of completely white. So um, yeah, here as well. Yeah, it's definitely a fan that I actually am happy to own, to be honest, even if, though it's a newer fan. It was like, probably, I mean, I like Hampton Bay, only because I grew up with them mostly, but I'm there. I'm not, like, looking for every single model, but, um, there's some models I do like, like, a majority older ones, but, um, there's, like, a few newer ones that I actually do like, and this is one of them. Well, this one I don't really consider newer, because it's, like, just, like, came out, like, back when I was, like, 11 years old, so it feels like when I'm like teen, I feel like that's more of a newer one. But, um, yeah, it's kind of like right around the time where Hampton Bay started to go downhill in quality. So, this could actually be one that was like right before they went downhill in quality. Or, like, I don't know, it's, it seems like a decent built fan, and the air movement's not bad at all, to be honest. It's like as good as the carriage house, too. Um, some people say it's a bad fan. Quality in carriage house, too, is pretty bad, I'll be honest. But, um, the air movement's not horrible, it's actually a pretty good air mover, especially for a hugger. Um, yeah, it was actually the quality of the build of this fan is similar to the camera. It's just not as the metal is not as thick, and um, but the air movement's pretty similar to the camera too, to be honest. Definitely, like if you're looking with like a cheap fan, like not anything over like 70 80 bucks, and they just don't get little tins or middle tins like that, those things are garbage. Metal tins. Well, since they're all cable, like, don't rely, I wouldn't rely on that fan for, like, something to move a good amount of air. If you're looking for something that moves air and does a job, definitely get a Farmington instead, and I'm being 100%. I mean, they're, they're not horrible fans, I'll be honest, they're pretty, I mean, the build, I don't know, this is an older one, so that could also be the other reason, but the, it does move a pretty good amount of air, I already feel um, a nice little breeze from it from right over here, so, um, yeah. And not so many of my fans that I forecast I actually feel a breeze from it. Over he from over here, especially on low, so um, yeah, I just say something. I don't know, I mean, some people say this fan looks really ugly and stuff like that, but um, I feel like the only f if it does have like um. The regular brackets like the like the hunter fans use like the pass like the regular ceiling fan brack blade arm and stuff like that. Um like the one that like the Opal file uses for example. I feel like people wanna be be that against this fan to be honest, but um I don't know, it really just looks like a simple fan. I really don't see like any ext extreme modern looks to it except the um blade arms and that's it. But, um, yeah, I really don't have anything against, like, these fans. Um, I I do like these a lot more than the, um, Hands Bay Quick Connect. I find those look more modern to me than this, to be honest. Even the, um, Cameron 2 actually looks a bit mo more modern than this, in my opinion. I don't know. They, there are some modern fans that look more simple nowadays. Like, the em some Emerson fans, they do make them look more simple looking and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But I mean, I may even see for some reason on his on his farming tendency not too much of a difference with full speed. But I mean, yeah, low speed on this fan is exactly the same as the um low speed on the um low profile in my living room. I had it on earlier when I was recording the other video, but I'm gonna just shut it off right now just to give it a little break because it's been on all day. So um yeah, I just don't want to wear it out because it 
I do use it pretty almost like all day long and stuff like that when I'm in here. Usually like medium, low, or high, like switch it for the speeds throughout the day. So um yeah, I just figured might as well just shut it off now. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and move the fan up to medium. And I'm not, yeah, I am using a black piece of tape now. I feel like that this is gonna be what I'm gonna use now for a tape. Come, it does hold the grip on this on the fan a lot better. Are you gonna switch out things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really, it's not really much of a difference. It's just a tiny bit faster. But um, yeah. But I do feel a little bit more air on medium though. Even though it doesn't really go that much faster on medium than it does on low, it, I do feel a little bit more air. It's pretty strange, but it's really not that much of a difference in the speeds. I mean, I, use, I really don't mind these fans at all. I mean, they don't want to collect so I don't like them. Most of the newer fans, and they're cheaper compared to like Casablanca and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, they're not bad. I'm, I just like usually, like, when I compare fans, I just like compare them. I just like, I judge them just like as a fan in general. Like, if they do the job, they move air, etc. But, um, I don't I usually like a lot of people they just like compare them to, um, Casablanca. It's like the, the top notch fan. So, it's, obviously, it's not going to be, it's, it's not gonna be anything compared to like Hunter Original stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's like a judge them as like a fan in general, not like judging them to compared to the best ones. To me, it's a good if it's a good fan. It it's a good, it's a good fan if it moves good air. Like if it moves a good amount of air, that that's that I'd actually recommend it. Um, or like actually recommend giving, or that actually I'd even like give to someone just because it good moves good air. And um, the fans that I won't recommend because they are ch very cheaply made and don't move that much air but if it if it is cheaply made but it also moves a good amount of air I, I would recommend it Willow Tins I wouldn't recommend Care Charles 2 is cheaply made but it is a good air mover so I would recommend that but um yeah yeah it is a pretty slow medium speed though it is pretty surprising I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a fan that has a, such a slow medium speed, to be honest. But at least it goes pretty fast on high speed, though, so it does make up for it. I'm gonna try to keep this video short, actually. It's like 27 minutes long, the other one, so um, yeah. I am trying to make the video shorter, but sometimes I just don't realize how long the, the video is. I just usually just like focus on the fan, just like to make sure everything's working right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do some more remakes of the fans out in public that I I need to do some greatest remakes of those. So fan for testing videos might be off road, might not be as common now because I mostly basically been doing for testing videos for a while now, and I'm I do need to get out and record a lot of fans out in public again, like do better remakes of them. And also, just like to update you guys and just so you guys know that they're not trash and stuff like that. But I mean, also because I have a better camp, I use my mom's phone now. And also, I have better recording skills compared to back when I first recorded, recorded the majority of the fan videos that I did back a few years back. Um, yeah, I just feel like also there's some fans I haven't recorded yet out in public that I still want to show you guys. So I feel like I should focus on those. And not, cause I'm really not going to be getting too many fans now until I um until I reveal what's going on. So um, I so um, yeah, just. I have a good amount now, and it's going to take a little break, like a month or two, from getting fans. Because it's really, it's just with the situation, it's just not the best time to get more fans. So it would just be, it would get my mom angry. So, so um, yeah. Now I actually did have fun with putting this in my um grandmother's kitchen, but the only issue is um. The only way that I would actually put on this fan is um, a schoolhouse globe or like that I would put in the kitchen. But the thing is, her ceiling is so low, and where it is is like right where you walk by. So I'd, I'd rather not put something like this and have it hang too low to actually hit someone in the head. 
aka my dad. And I feel like it's cool how it's cool, but hit would hang too well on it. And the um, those like turtle fit fit a white kids, like the ones that they sell at Home Depot, like three white ones. I feel like it would hang too well on it fan as well. If it's not, because it's not like integrated into the um switch housing like the um, the Wolf of Breeze that she has in there right now. And also, I feel like a forty two inch fan would be better for the spot in the kitchen where it is compared to a fifty two inch one because the um blades are a bit close to the wall, and I feel like it wouldn't it, a forty two inch fan would be better for that spot. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna get rid of Clarkson instead. Since I'm not really gonna use that. And also I just feel like just to make up some more space, I as long as I can see the fan stone parts and, and know that it's gonna be taken care of or not. And, and like abused and stuff like that, like destroyed some and also she does take decent care of them, so I'm not mind putting a Hampton Bay fan in there for her and also um but it's not gonna be anytime soon, it's like once Everything gets situation situated with what's going on now. Um, I'll probably install the um Clarkson for her. So um yeah, I will do a video of it when it, when it's installed. And um when I get the um Lola Breeze fan from her, I will do a video of it when I have it in my possession as well. <clears throat> so um yeah, let me go ahead and move this fan up too high. And this fan does have a pretty cool startup sound on it. So. It's something that um some newer fans that I noticed have um the Hampton Bay Corkson actually has the same exact startup sound. So um yeah. I really do like the startup sound this fan though, it is pretty unique. I mean it does go pretty fast actually. And not so many newer fans go that fast nowadays, um um but also this is a two thousand eight model, so um, that could also be the other reason why it goes pretty fast. I don't know if the newer ones that that they make today go this fast, so um, so yeah. But if an older one, is, but um, yeah, if you find an older frame turn, they are they are pretty good. But um, yeah, if I would have to test the um newer one on all speeds just to be to see if they're that much different. But I but my guess is that they're probably not as good as the older ones like this. But um, who knows. <laughs> But yeah, it is it is actually pretty fast and high, I'll be honest. It it does go a bit faster than the um it actually does go faster than the local pile that's in my moving room right now. Um, yeah, the will profile my moving room doesn't go too fast and high, um just does go a bit faster. Probably like almost as I don't know if it's probably about the same speed as my fast but two, but maybe a tiny bit slower. And it's like a right right around the same though. Well, I mean, I am feeling a pretty good amount of air from over here, to be honest. It's moving the currents quite a bit, and the um, pull chains on the low profile. And not some, and not all of my fans actually do that. They usually do either one or the other, and this one's doing both. So, If I was to like give any like fans to a friend of mine that they don't like knowing that they don't take as like knowing that they might replace it, a fan someday like with another one or if they were to like move away something like that I'd probably like like or I don't know like if I was just like recommend a fan that does a job but not wanting to give up like a good quality fan in case they don't take that good care of it I probably would recommend this but if it gets damaged it's not really a big deal because these fans are still made so um and they're very common so yeah i wouldn't really like, give a hundred fan to a friend of mine because i don't know how well they would take care of it and yeah or a casablanca in general but um yeah usually if i was like give a fan to somebody that's not a collector i usually would just like give them something newer unless i would actually like if i don't check in on the fan that much i wouldn't want to give them something that's new like good quality but um yeah 
Well, not because I don't want to give him some good quality, but also just not to um, risk a good quality fan getting, getting like, um, how do I say, like not being taken care of as well as it should be, basically. I mean, if it's like in a public place, it's probably less likely that will get, because they usually, usually fans in public places, they get cleaned quite often. There's some homes that they don't really clean the fans that often. My grandmother, for example, <laughs> doesn't, she doesn't clean the fans that often, but um, yeah, some of my family members, they don't really clean the, clean the fans all that much, so um, yeah. But yeah, it is moving a pretty good amount of air. I'm going to bring it up close so you guys can hear the air movement. Yeah, it is moving a pretty good amount of air. I really am surprised. Well, I already tested it earlier, but I'm, I actually am very impressed. Probably take this to on Brandon C. Johnson's place or right close so they can do a video, but also just to show them as well. Just to see there. So, um, yeah, I really would not. I actually would recommend this man. Like, not like if you're looking for something to like be the best, like to be lying on for the next 20 years, but, like. Something that, like at like a workshop or something just to move some air around, definitely get this fan out. Or even if you're a fan collector and just want to play some soft, so that should be a good idea. So I'm just really not a fan that I can see anybody who doesn't know about quality of a fan. To like, I really don't see any of them complaining about the air performance of this fan. It's actually pretty good air movement, even for a person like for a person like myself who is that had experience with more quality fans that have that move a lot more than this. So yeah. It's definitely one of my more powerful hand to bay fans that I've tested on honestly. Probably moves a bit more in the farming not to farming in the this is the farming channel on the carousel. Maybe I'm not sure but I would have to test them both side by side. The carousel is way to all bent out of place pretty badly so it's kind of hard to tell so that one I can't really give a fair judgment oh yeah it's probably what's about the same as the Glendale and that's actually a pretty good hand to bay fan I can make today well it's probably using the same exact model so that's probably the reason why so um, yeah let me go ahead and shut the fan off Let's go ahead and do a spin down. Yeah, this definitely will be a fan that I'm going to install in my own place. If, I, if it has a garage, I'll probably put this in there. Or even like a laundry room, like if it's like in a laundry room and it's big enough, I might probably will put something like this because I don't want something that moves too much air in there. But I'm just something to like move the air around and stuff. Usually, like if I if I'm gonna put like a fan up, I'd rather, I'd rather have it in a place that I'm actually gonna be in the room as m more often. Like if I like if I wasn't in the living room that much, like from like living rooms, dining rooms, kitchens. Bedrooms, etc. Those are like fans that I that I wouldn't be using more often compared to like if it's like a laundry room, garage, etc. Those are, I feel like those are rooms that I would probably put something like this in because I wouldn't be using them as much. You know, so I wouldn't be spending as much time in the, in those rooms either. So um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is definitely a pretty good air move. Like, I don't know, Dan Newman. I remember you, him saying that, like there was like those three Kmart fans like that he wanted to replace as like industrials, but he didn't know. I mean, I don't know if I he did say like it's possible to put um hand to be farming, not hand to be farming, but some hand to be industrials in there. I don't know. I feel like these wouldn't be a bad option too. Just flush mount them. They definitely would move a good amount of air, especially in a laundry man. And it's with me for testing this fan. I don't know, I feel like 
and it's not too expensive. I mean, I don't know, Dan, if you're watching this, I really doubt you'd watch this since it's a newer fan video, but, um, <laughs> for one dramatic, it's not a bad idea. They might get bent out of place, but, um, it's better that someone like this gets bent out of place than a, um, hand to be interested, y'all. And also, the industrial hand to be industrials, I noticed that they do tend to get pretty noisy after a while, so, um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's come to a complete stop. So, that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.